Hi! <laughs> I'm Tana. Welcome to my channel. Or <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video of mine, just stop fucking watching. I am the biggest shit show I have ever been in life ever. But at the same time, I guess this video is a really accurate representation of my life. So, hello! So, um... If you haven't heard... <laughs> I got arrested at Coachella and um <laughs> it has been a mess and every drama channel, drama website, human being on Twitter has had their personal take on this story except for me and I knew in the moment of all of this happening as much of a shit show as it was that it was going to be an amazing story time so I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, today I'm going to be telling you guys why I got arrested at Coachella, the charges that I have, and how much I hate my life. So the only things I really have to say before I get into the video is if you are not already subscribed, that would be dope if you subscribed. And I am going on tour this summer. I don't know how easy it's going to be to convince your parents to come see a criminal now, but if you want to meet me, the link is below. And I also put that glorious mugshot on a shirt because when bad things happen to you, capitalize on it. Are there going to be fucking ads on this video? Hell the fuck no. I need to pay the bills somehow. Merch is below. Get it? Maybe? Or don't. It's totally fine. I, I probably wouldn't get it either. <laughs> so the past like three weeks of life for me have been absolutely hell. I don't know if God is just sitting up there like testing me one by one like fucking pop quizzes. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But everything bad that could happen to me in any scenario is happening to me all while life is like still amazing. It's very messy. I got evicted from my house entirely wrongfully. Like I paid the rent. I didn't do anything wrong. That is an insane story time within itself. Every plane I flew flew on in Australia, something was wrong. Two giant flights I had to go on, like 12 hour flights, both had to have emergency landings and I literally thought I was going to die. I got stranded in Hawaii for like two days randomly because of one of those emergency landings and it was absolutely insane. Because I got evicted, my friends and I are now living in the tiniest, shittiest apartment that is currently infested with cockroaches. <laughs> oh, I love my life. And so while I was in Australia on tour, which by the way, I had the time of my life, it was absolutely amazing and I am so grateful I got to have that experience. I was totally under the impression the entire time that I was not going to get to go to Coachella at all. I had shows during weekend one, like performing in Australia, and then during weekend two, I had flights flying home to Las Vegas. So I totally thought I was just going to miss all of Coachella. And then somehow, by like a little ounce of luck, my flights got scheduled a few days earlier so I was able to fly home and make it to Coachella weekend two by like the hair on my chin and I'm not gonna lie I really wanted to go to weekend one because that's when all of my friends were going but I was still getting to go to Coachella I was still going weekend two and I was so fucking excited and for the most part Coachella was dope Friday was dope Saturday was dope I was meeting so fucking many of you guys and you guys are always so sweet to me and I always have so much fun with you guys the performances were really fun I got to meet Gucci Mane which was really cool I was still there surrounded by like my closest friends which is all that really matters in the scheme of things or whatever. But the thing I was most excited about was for Sunday at Coachella to see Lord. I love Lord. I think she's so fucking awesome. I was so excited to see her perform like green light and like liability, all that kind of stuff. I was so pumped for Sunday. So Sunday I wake up, I get my makeup done. It's by far like my favorite makeup look of the day. This is the first day I'm actually making it to Coachella where it's like daylight out. I'm getting to like have so much fun with my friends. I'm having an amazing time at Coachella and I'm so excited to see Lord. So as the day goes on, it's like an hour before Lord, and I am with Amari and my friend Loie. Loie is a YouTuber here on YouTube. I will link her channel below. And Amari, Loey, and I decide before we go to see Lord, we're gonna go to the VIP area and just like hang out there for a second. Maybe take some really cool pictures because we hadn't been taking that many pictures. Everyone else was just like a giant mess at this point and I felt like we were the only three like level-headed, sober people and we just wanted to like take pictures, like gather ourselves, collect our beings, and then go finally see Lord. And so we go to the VIP section, it was called the Rose Garden, we're just like talking, having a really good time, whatever. So the three of us decide that we wanna go up to the bar and I'll get Red Bulls and water before we go back out to see Lord because it's hot outside, we're getting a little bit dehydrated, it's also day three of Coachella and we're dead and none of us are like on fucking drugs, so obviously a Red Bull would like wake us up. And I just wanna state, at this point, this entire day, in this very moment, 
I was dead sober. Not a sip of alcohol, not a drink of alcohol. Like, like, hello God, I'm doing something good for once. I'm not blackout drunk at a music festival for once in my life. I am sober. And so we're waiting in line and we get up to the front of the bar. And I guess you still had to be like 21 to order there or whatever. So I'm standing there with Loie and Loie goes to order and she goes, I want three Red Bulls and three waters. And then one of the girls who was a bartender, I guess, at this bar comes up to Loie and I and she recognizes us from YouTube and she's like, oh my God, like I'm a really big fan, like blah, blah, blah. She's like talking to us. She takes a picture with us, whatever. And then she looks at us and she's like, what do you guys want to drink? And we both were kind of like, eh, like I don't really want anything. Like we just want Red Bulls and water, but like, thank you for the offer. And she was like, no, really? Like, can I please make you guys a drink? I love you guys so much. Like blah, blah, blah. Like she was being really sweet. Like just, and so as you guys know from all of my story times ever, I am so bad at saying no to anything. I swear to God, someone could offer me like crystal meth. And I'm like, sure. Like, thank you so much. Like I appreciate it. And so I was like, fine. Like we'll just take Red Bull vodkas. And so she makes us three Red Bull vodkas. We're just like talking to her. We take the three Red Bull vodkas and we walk away. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like a bitch would have drank it. Like I would have drank the fucking Red Bull vodka. Like I obviously said Red Bull vodka cause like lucky for you that's what I like. Like I like Red Bull vodka. But I kid you not, I'm standing there with Loie and Amari. I'm holding this Red Bull vodka. I literally take the straw and put the straw to my mouth to take a sip to taste it. To see if the drink is even like strong. Like just to see what it tastes like. And the second the straw touches my mouth literally like four undercover cops surround me like not like underage Amari is standing there holding the same drink Loie's obviously above 21 so like it didn't matter she had like the little 21 wristband or whatever they surround me and I'm like what the fuck is going on I didn't really realize what was going on at first because they were undercover cops like this bitch was wearing a flower crown this bitch was wearing a flower crown <laughs> like a flower crown around her head like they're dressed like regular Coachella people and then all of a sudden before I know it all four of them like the fucking Power Rangers whip out their fucking undercover badges and they like state their cop names and they're like we're undercover cops and I'm like of course you are why would you be random people from Coachella my life doesn't go that way <laughs> so I'm like I'm really sorry I know what you're gonna say I'm drinking this drink like I'm sober I'll throw it away like no big deal I'm really sorry and so literally as I'm like walking to throw the drink away the girl officer in the fucking flower crown <laughs> grabs my arm and pulls me back like she doesn't want me to throw it away and she goes well maybe you shouldn't be drinking a drink if you're googleable Tana <laughs> like this bitch knew my name she knew my name like what is first of all how find me? How am I even Googleable? Like, what did you Google? Like, basic white blonde bitch at Coachella drinking a Red Bull vodka and like, I just popped the fuck up. Like, I don't even understand how she found me, like, at all. And so then I'm kind of like, fuck. <laughs> Okay, so do you want to breathalyze me? Like I'm literally sober, I'll pass it, like I, I'll throw it away, I'll leave the Rose Garden, I'll go back out into Coachella. I am so, so sorry for the inconvenience, for disrespecting your rules, blah, blah, blah. And so they're like, no, it doesn't work that way, like you're in trouble, you have to come with us, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, great, like Lord isn't on in 30 minutes, like I'm fucking sober, like awesome. And so as I'm trying to like barter with them and like get them to let me go, Loie and Amari are coming over and they're like, what can she do? Like, is there anything we can do? Like, can I take the blame? Like Loie was like, I'm like 23, like I'll just take the drink, I'll say it's mine, like, which is so nice by the way, Loi is such a good friend, like she genuinely cared so much and it was so sweet. And Amari is like just yelling like random things, like, like she's sober, she's sober, let her go, like they don't give a fuck. So they basically tell them like you need to go away or like we're gonna fucking take you with us too or whatever. Loi is like asking them if like she can meet us at the jail like after I'm done or whatever and they're like telling her no, blah blah blah, so they make them walk away and now they have me with them. And so they take the drink from me, they take a picture of the drink they take a picture of me with the drink like please imagine me in the middle of Coachella's VIP area just like with my fucking drink while they're like got it got the fucking evidence <laughs> like, ah, like I'm sober like it's wondering I don't know whatever okay and I just want to say for any of the haters I still understand I'm completely wrong I should not have accepted the drink I should not have been holding the drink I should not have been drinking the drink I know I'm breaking the law I know I'm wrong I just think that they were being like a little bit harsh I don't know whatever they throw the drink away and I totally think that they're just gonna let me like walk with them to like a police area or whatever no 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 officer fucking flower crown grabs both of my hands <laughs> puts them behind my back and puts me in handcuffs. Like before I even know it, like there was no like, we're putting you in handcuffs, like come on, like put your hands, but she was like, <clears throat> and I was like, muscle. <laughs> 
And now like people are staring, people are walking by, like we're literally just in the middle of like a section of people like partying at Coachella. It's not even like they could like walk me somewhere and like put me in handcuffs. No, no, I'm a fucking criminal and they had to put me in handcuffs right then and there. So then they walk me over to the bar area and they're like, can you identify the girl that gave you the drink, blah, blah, blah. And of course, my luck, Tana's life. The girl is gone. <laughs> so then I have to like identify the girl, tell them what the girl looks like, like her height and her hair color and her eye color and like all that kind of stuff. And they basically tell me that if the girl had have been there, they would have let me go and she would have been the one in handcuffs. But like, no, why would the girl still fucking be there? Why would my life be that easy? Why would I get to see Lord? Why wouldn't I get arrested at Coachella? So then they walk me all the way through the VIP section. People are literally noticing me, like fans of me, people who support me are like, Tana, like, oh my God. And then they see that I'm in handcuffs and they're like, oh fuck. Like maybe I should stand someone else <laughs> and they walk me to this like back lot of Coachella And so as I'm standing there in handcuffs They tell me that we're waiting for a golf cart to come and get me and I'm like, okay So as I'm standing there waiting the cop takes my phone out of my pocket and starts scrolling through like my notifications and I'm just like this one cop is like scrolling through my fucking phone. The other cop is standing there looking at me just being like, shouldn't have drank, shouldn't have accepted the drink. I don't care if she offered it to you. I don't care if she was a fan of you. Shouldn't have accepted the drink. You wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be in this situation. And I'm just like, so then like five minutes go by and for some reason Trevor fucking Moran is in this back lot and he like runs past me and he's like running through this lot to get to something else and I go to be like Trevor and the cop literally pulls me back and goes he can't save you. <laughs> And then the other cop looks over at her and goes, oh, he's the one that's been calling her phone. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so then they tell me that the golf cart's going to be there in like five minutes. And I honestly think that this is just kind of the peak. This is the worst moment. Nothing worse possible can happen in this moment, you know? Like I'm arrested at Coachella, I'm gonna miss Lord. he has my phone, I can't talk to my friends, I'm in fucking handcuffs. And then across the street, like four paparazzi get out of a car and start taking pictures of me and yelling my name. And they're like, Tana, Tana, why did you get arrested? Why did you get arrested? What's happening? Tana, Tana. And the fucking officer is like holding me back like, she has no comment, she has no comment. <laughs> like this bitch is like my lawyer, like apparently flower crown officer can like do it all. And what gets me here, what really, really gets me in this situation, guys, Imagine being me, the most irrelevant piece of trash YouTuber on the internet who has only ever had a moment of fame for like scandals. The only times paparazzi have ever taken my picture are like when I had pink hair, when I was going to like a doctor's appointment. Like it's never like when I look good or when I'm like doing something good or like at one of my shows. But I'm getting out of a car in LA like looking all vogue. Like the paparazzi only seems to show up when I'm just royally making a mess of myself. Lady Gaga at Coachella, Gucci Mane's at Coachella, ASAP Rocky's at Coachella, Lord is at Coachella, but the paparazzi find arrested me to take pictures of. Like, what are the odds? And so at this point, I'm so fucking infuriated. I'm so frustrated. I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at that girl who offered me the drink. I'm mad at these fucking officers. I'm mad at Coachella. I just want to see Lord. So the golf cart finally shows up. We go on like a 20 minute golf cart ride. And the entire time she's like tightening my handcuffs while I'm sitting there just tighter and tighter and tighter. And I literally keep saying like, ow, ow, like, ow, that hurts. Like that hurts so bad. Like it's cutting me. It's cutting me. And she's like, shouldn't have accepted the drink. Tighten. Shouldn't have accepted the drink. Like shouldn't have taken the drink. And so I look at her and I was like you never underage drank one time and she looks back at me and she goes I had my first sip of alcohol on my 21st birthday Titans handcuffs and it irked me so bad that she like knew my name and like googled me and like took the time to like research me so finally after she called me like Tana like 20 times I was like what is your name and she literally gets this close to my face and goes I'm officer blah 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 to you like her last name like wouldn't tell me her first name <laughs> And so we finally show up to a cop car. So then I ride in the cop car all the way to like Coachella jail. Like it was still technically at Coachella. It was just like off site kind of. It wasn't like an Indio California jail. Like this jail was set up for like people of Coachella and like the only people there were like people at Coachella if that makes sense. But it was still like a far ways away. And so they sit me down at this table. They have me put my hand on a Bible. They're like anything you can and say will be held against you in a court of law. Like I like do my little fucking oath. I feel my hand just burning from the Bible because I'm going to fucking hell. And so they start asking me all of these questions. How big was the drink? How many fluid ounces do you think it was? Did you use a fake ID? Do you have a fake ID? This probably takes like an hour. And then finally, after filling everything out and answering all of their questions, <laughs> I keep it with me for good luck. <laughs> they write me a ticket for the highest charge of minor in possession of alcohol and minor in consumption of alcohol. They write me these charges and I look at them and I'm like, how much are the charges? Like how much do you think they're going to be? And the guy looks at me and he's like, well, when it is the highest case of the these charges it's usually around five grand and I was just like sick sick but the thing that gets 
me is they never breathalyzed me. So how can you charge me with minor in consumption of alcohol when I was never breathalyzed and I was sober? I don't know. I understand minor in possession. Like a bitch was in fucking possession. Oh my God, this is a misdemeanor. I never thought I would be sitting here reading the charges of my misdemeanor. <laughs> and after they write me the ticket, I think I'm done. Like they're insinuating that I'm about to get to go back into Coachella, which at this point is honestly all I care about. I'm getting charged with it. I'm sober. Like paparazzi already took my fucking picture. Like it's, it's done for. There's already a record of it. It already happened. What am I going to do other than go back into Coachella and have fun? So then they look at me and they're like, okay, we're almost done, but it is time for your fingerprint and mug shots. And I just like lost my shit. Like I literally just started dying laughing. I was like, my, my, my mug shots. And they're like, yeah, unfortunately you committed a crime, man. Like shouldn't have accepted the drink. Like time to go take your mug shot. So then I walk into the lovely mug shot room of Coachella. They scan all of my fingerprints. They scan my eyes in this little fucking thing. They take my height, they take my weight, whatever. I take my mug shots. taking my mug shots there's like five police officers in the room and one of the younger officers looks at me and he goes I thought you looked familiar like I just googled your name my daughter watches your YouTube videos I'm like does she like that's so sick like what an awesome way to meet you like can you take me out of the handcuffs now and so he takes me out of the handcuffs and then we take a picture for his daughter if anyone can find that I would also love to see that photo I take my ticket with me and then they put me back in a cop car back into a golf cart and I go back into Coachella and so the second my feet hit the Coachella ground, I literally start running, running to the main stage. Of course, I was the furthest point from the main stage as I could be. And after running and running and running, I hear it in the distance. Lord, the only person I wanted to see at Coachella playing. I hear her start to sing, I do my makeup in somebody else's car. I hear her start to sing Green Light. And so I run towards the stage. And of course, it was her last song. So at least I got to see Lord perform Green Light. I got to see her perform one song. <laughs> it's not why I went to Coachella or anything. Like seriously, I didn't want to see Lord Set or anything. It's fine. And then the gag of all of it is the next day I woke up in my hotel room absolutely dying, projectile vomiting, then shitting myself every 15 minutes until I got so depleted of all of my nutrients, like couldn't even keep down water, that I had to call 911 and go to the hospital. And after four hours in the Indio, California hospital, they basically told me that they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me and I had to leave so um that's my life <laughs> like didn't drink at all and woke up the next day projectile vomiting and could not stop and then even the hospital couldn't tell me what was wrong with me so that's fun <laughs> and so now the cherry on top of it all is that my court date is on August 23rd in Indio California and I have a show in Los Angeles that day so I don't know how the hell I'm gonna go on tour and perform a show that day and then get to Indio California and testify in court but we're gonna make it happen the story is definitely probably not as juicy as all of the media makes it seem I mean all that really happened is I accepted a drink and I was holding it but I just want to give a big shout out to that girl who was just trying to give me an nice free drink by supporting me and to Loey for spending all of the rest of the time she was at Coachella looking for me and looking for me in that jail and being such a fucking good friend it's insane to any of you that saw me getting arrested after I got arrested or during Coachella <laughs> <laughs> to any of the nice police officers that were there. And here's to hopefully not getting arrested next year at Coachella if they even want me back. Getting banned from major events since 2016. Tana Mojo, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, um, I got arrested at Coachella. I'm a fucking idiot. Nothing but bad things happened to me, but I would not trade this life for the world. And I'm so thankful for you guys making all of the good things happen amongst the bad things. If you guys would like some more story times about why we got evicted from our house for literally no reason, or how I almost died on a million plane crashes, <laughs> or how I literally almost died after Coachella, <laughs> let me know in the comments below and I will gladly tell you guys all of those stories. I miss telling story times so much, so I guess all of these shitty things happening in my life right now are literally happening so that I can give you guys good content. <laughs> And if you want one, please get my mugshot shirt below. They will be available for a limited time. And if you would like to come meet a criminal who committed a misdemeanor at Coachella, the link to my tour tickets will also be below. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye. So I just got done filming this video <laughs> and I was reminded that getting arrested is not a good example at all. Uh, so please don't think it's cool to get arrested as you cannot tell by this video it was a giant inconvenience upon my life nor do I want to pay those charges nor do I want to go to court nor is underage drinking okay. I should have definitely said no to the drink. As you guys can tell I slept through all of D.A.R.E. in the fifth grade when they said say no to drugs and alcohol. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, um, I'm not out here trying to say like getting arrested is cool because it's not fucking cool. It was a giant, stupid, unfortunate thing that happened to me that I don't wish upon anyone and don't ever want to do again and don't think you guys should go out and do. I feel like people always think I'm like glorifying the things I do and like making them look cooler that I'm like proud of them or like proud to underage drink or proud to have done something. And it's not that at all. It's definitely what I've said from the beginning. I want to share my mistakes with you guys and hopefully you learn something from them. I think the lesson here learned is obviously if you're not fucking 21, don't accept your drink like you are. Um, so yeah, I never tell these stories to seem cool. I, I don't think what happened is cool and I don't think you guys should get arrested. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> disclaimers with Tana to save some hate comments.